All right, Shalom, Yasha Allah, back with another GMS on the go. I'm Brother Nakum with the Royal North Carolina camp. You know, but before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. I'm teaching this truth according to the Bible who rule well. And a double Shalom to all the sisters of Akim. Shalom. You know? And I'm just going to get to a low well at if I lesson today, pretty much I'm going into um the famine, you know, because in these last days, there will be a great famine taking place upon the face of the earth, Main is, mainly in this place called America, you know, because of all you people's pride, you know, you people's pride has led to how about Shemashah bringing a great famine to this place, you know, so without further ado, I'm just going to dive right into it. This is Limitation chapter 4, verse 9. They that be slain with a sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. And slain means to die. So it's better to die by the way of a sword, which is a sword is any killing instrument, than to die by the way of hunger. And the reason why it's better to die by a sword, any killing instrument, than hunger, is because when you die by a sword, that's a fast and quick death. Versus die by the way of starvation, hunger, that's a slow and painful death. You know, you got to sit there and put up with that. It reads on. For these pine away, stricken through for the want of the fruits of the field. That's right. And what's going to pine away? The inside of your body. You see, the inside of your body is going to shut down. It's going to start feeding off of itself. All because it's stricken. All because the inside of your body is starving for food. And so because you're not feeding the inside of your body with the food that it needs, now it has no choice. But they start eating it itself, you know, and this is how a lot of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, are gonna um, be dying in these last days. By the way, it's starvation, man, and that's a bad way to die. Jump down to verse 10. This is Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 10. The hands of the pitiful woman have sodden their own children. That's right. And um, sodden, you look into that word, sodden means to bake or to boil. So that's what these women, and not just these women, but these men also are going to be doing in these last days during this great famine. Because there ain't going to be nothing to eat during this time of famine. These people are going to have to resort to eating their children, man. You know? These people are literally going to be eating their own kids, their own babies, man. Because they ain't going to have nothing else to eat. It says, they were their meat and the destruction of the daughter of my people. Which the people of Yahweh and Masha is you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans. So again, your own babies, your own kids is gonna be your food for you in this day of destruction, in this time of famine that Yahweh and Masha is about to bring upon the face of the earth. You know, and the only way you people are gonna live through this famine is by eating your babies, eating your kids. You know, and it's all because of your pride. You know, you want to walk around the earth being prideful, doing what you want to do. We'll get ready to feel this family that Yahweh Bashim is about to bring. Our next precept. This is Isaiah chapter 66, I mean 65, verse 13. So like you. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Yahweh Bashim Behold, which behold means look, my servants shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. That's right. So the Lord's servants, the elect of the nation of Israel, the men of the Lord, the prophets, and the multitude of believers, during this time of great famine, the Lord said his servants, his elect is going to eat. You know? We don't know what we're going to be eating, how we're going to be eating, what point in time we're going to be eating during this famine. We just know and have faith that the Lord is going to feed us, as the scripture has said. You know? But while the elect of the nation of Israel is eating during this time of famine, Two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're going to be hungry. And as we just read in Lamentation, the fourth chapter, it's better to die by the way of a sword than hunger. Because that's a slow and painful death. And the inside of your body is going to start eating at itself. So you don't want to die by the way of starvation, hunger. It says, Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. That's right. And not only in this time of famine is the elect of the nation of Israel going to be eating, but we're also going to be drinking. The Lord is going to give us something to drink in that day. While two-thirds of these so-called Negroes, Latino, and Americans are going to be thirsty. 
It says, Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. And why is the, the Lord's servants, his elect, going to be rejoicing during this time of famine? Because the Lord is going to be taking care of us, man. The Lord is going to come through. He's going to make sure we have something to eat and something to drink, as the scripture said. And while we're rejoicing, Lord willing, we'll be able to elect men, women, and children. Two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latin Americans, you're going to be ashamed. Because you ain't gonna have nothing to eat and you ain't gonna have nothing to drink And you're gonna know the reason why you ain't got nothing to eat and drinking that day Is because of your pride It's because you ain't turned back until your house by was shot You know So a great famine is coming Here to um, uh, Babylon the Great America And you people are not ready for it Let me see Joe this is Job chapter 5, verse 20. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. That's right. Redeem when you look into it. It means to um to save, deliver. So in this great famine, this time of famine is coming, the Lord is going to save his elect from famine, from having to die, by the way, of that. And the way that Yahweh Bashim is going to save his elect from famine is by feeding us in that day. You see? But if you're not a part uh, of Yahweh Bashim elect in this time of famine, you're going to die by the way of famine. That's going to be your death if Yahweh Bashim is not dealing with you. But the elect, he's going to redeem them from famine. It says, and in war from the power of the sword. That's right. So I'm going to jump down to verse 22. This is Job chapter 5, verse 22. At destruction and, and famine, thou shalt laugh. That's right. And the reason why the scripture saying at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, is because the ones who you have by Shemar Shadda got a Bible is dealing with, that means they're going to be taken care of. And so they're going to be laughing because what? They're going to be eating during this time of famine. When everybody's out here, you know, walking around, trying to find food, trying to get food, you know, whatever the case may be, the elect nation of Israel, they're going to be just fine. You see, they're going to be good because they're going to have some food to satisfy their stomach through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. That's why one's going to be laughing. It says, neither... It says, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. That's right. And and not, and not going on top of anything, but it said, neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. You know, because in these last days when all hell is breaking loose, you're going to have lions, tigers, bears, all type of animals out here. You know? And the reason why we ain't going to be afraid of these um, beasts of the field was going to go into it. I'm going to read the next part. It says, for thou shalt be in lead with the stones of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with thee. So that's why we're not going to be afraid of the beast of the field. Because they're going to be at peace with us. You see, they're going to be at, um, in a lead. They're going to be at one accord with us. But that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shah. Why these animals are not going to rise up against us in these last days. You know? But not go off top of anything. This great famine is coming to the face of the earth, man. It's going to be worse than all famines that ever happened in history. You know, and if you're high about shot is not on your side. <sighs> oh, man, you're high about shot ain't on your side, man. It ain't going to be good for you. That's all I can pretty much really say, you know. So a great famine is coming, you know. That's my lesson, Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latin Americans, were edified. But before I go any further, I'd like to give all honor, all glory, and all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash. Next up, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and a double shalom to all the Sayakim. Shalom.